How's it going, guys? It's Count Shockula, and I'm going to be trying to run my Green Goblin through the Cosmic Trial. This is my second attempt. The first attempt, I got one-shotted by the Red Skull at the very end. It's kind of frustrating. Uh, one thing to note is I haven't been playing a lot of Marvel Heroes the last week and a half or so because I've been working a lot. So I've been kind of neglecting this character. So I don't have this character fully geared where I want him to be yet. Got like a Gungnir Legendary at like rank 2. And I don't have a good uh, costume core. As you can see, I'm using a Spider-Man team up at level 48. I uh, really uh, don't think he's the best team up for Green Goblin, but um, I thought it'd be cool to team these two up together. So let's give it a, another try here. This is my second attempt. I got one shot by Green Goblin, or one shot by the Red Skull the first time. So, And I, I almost had him down. So, Like I said, I don't have this guy fully where I want him yet. I don't have the cybernetics on the pet. I don't have the, uh, the, le the level 80 r legendary ranked up yet. I think I'm only at rank two on that and I haven't spent a whole lot of time on this character to be honest but uh, I do like the character it's, it's fun to play now that move right there is the fistful of toad uh, specialization in the big one and uh, I want to give a shout out to Slovash he's a Marvel Hero Heroes player that uh, makes YouTube videos um, I wouldn't have considered using that move, but uh, his video made me a believer. So uh, shout out, shout out to him, especially if I get by this. <laughs> if I don't get by this, it's it's definitely not the fault of the build. It's uh, probably just that I don't play the character that well yet. And a, a two-second invulnerability core would be nice as well. That's always handy. You know, I'm taking way too many chances there. I need to start evading these guys a little better. One thing you want to do in these... Uh, and there's Madam Hydra right there. Uh, you want to try to stay behind the, the boss if you can, but it's not always easy. And Green Goblin's... Uh, Impaling boost dash is kind of limited. It's a little bit, uh, it's not the best. I mean, I like the move, but mobility wise, it's not the best. See, she's gonna try to one shot me there. Dash around until carpet bomb, the signature comes off cooldown. You can kind of uh, catch a break from that move a little bit. Now there's the bodyguard. I'm gonna die. I will not get by this if I keep this. If I keep this up, I'm playing bad. You gotta keep moving. And she's homing in on me there. I got lucky down to two minutes and I gotta take this guy out I have almost zero damage done on uh, Madam Hydra at this point oh my god I still haven't taken this guy out there we go alright let's kind of recuperate a little bit the team up's down but I can't worry about that right now and that was a waste of the toads. They ran away from her. You're ruining my fun. You really have to you really have to stay away from her. If I can get that move off that combo off is pretty nice. Yeah, I'm not doing enough damage here. It's definitely gonna be close, because her bodyguard's gonna come out again just on cue. I hit him pretty good there though. She's teeing off on me. It really helps if you can 
hit him dead center with that pumpkin bomb. All right, 40 seconds, and she has about half her health, so may not be looking good here. Okay, Madam Hydra's down. Let's get started here. Now the hard part. before my spirit starts uh, regenerating. Hopefully I hit something with that signature. Seem to be lagging just a little bit. That's a great combination though. Gas pumpkin bomb, normal pumpkin bomb, and then the big one. Whoa. All right, let's hit him here with the, uh, the carpet bomb. All right, here's the mechs. Now it's time to start moving. That one mech's already down, that's nice. That's going to help. Oh, Red Skull is over here teeing off on me because I'm a dumbass. Standing right in front of him like that. Alright, first start, Tech Sentinel. I think I'm going to save my goblin cannon, the ultimate, for the second one. I hope that doesn't cost me. That should take care of him right there. And I'm wrong. Jeez. I did not mean to hit that. I feel like I haven't played in a year. Alright, he's down. I need to regain health bad. Like Spider-Man can keep him busy there for me. I'm not getting teed off on. Whoa. I didn't whoa stay in front of him. Whoa. Okay, a shield should be coming up here. Yeah, there it is. Let's hit him with the goblin cannon here. This is the ultimate. And roast this guy's ass. There you go. Now if I don't die. I'm going to be relying a lot on Impaling Boost here to just to keep me... Whoa. That was close. i got to get out of here. I don't see how I didn't die there. Yeah, I definitely need some more practice with this character. Whoa, whoa. Trying to stay away from him. Yeah, 43 seconds. One more carpet bomb is going to be coming up here. And the toad should finish him off. Yes. All right. Oh, man. 
it's not easy to commentate on that, especially when you th <laughs> you're on the brink of dying. Like every five seconds, I'm on the brink of dying. So anyway, um, let's look at the character really fast. Uh, I'm using um, Black Cat's grappling hook, the anti-reality grenade, uh, Doctor Octopus medallion, upgraded uh, to 66. Uh, might be a better medallion to use for Green Goblin. I think it's okay, though. Um, I'm using the dupe Ectoplasm. There may be a better artifact than that. I may, uh, I may experiment with some more stuff. And Gem of the Curse. I'm using the um, Relic of Adelan. Uh, that's kind of a no-brainer with uh, area powers. Like I said, the Gungnir is uh, ranked level 2, level 80. Gungnir. I don't have a good... Uh, costume core at all only have the uh, gain 400 health when you hit an enemy had no luck finding any good ones sucks insignia of eric o'grady uh cosmic upgraded to um item grade 66 it's got a damage rating to area powers um no uh cybernetics except plus one energy i've re-rolled the damn thing about 10 times i'm having no luck there i don't have a really good ring it's okay i've got everything um uh, buffing up the crit damage rating and physical powers, physical attacks. Uh, when you when you hit with a physical power, gain 101 damage rating for 10 seconds and a little bit of health boost. It's the industry city ring. Uh, I'm going to end up getting a Xavier class ring. I'm using a uh, power dupe um, on the Uru Forged. So the enchantment on the uh, Uru Forged. So there you go, guys. Um... There's uh, my gear for the Green Goblin. Everything's level 69 here. I do have the challenge bonus attributes. Uh, I'm using a remote control dive, gas pumpkin, pumpkin bomb, the big one, sonic toads, like I said earlier, um, and I'm getting the uh, damage buff granted by Fistful of Toads. And it uh, it adds an eight second cooldown, but you also get uh, extra, he also throws out extra toads. And it's a really nice move. Like I said, um, thanks to Slovash for, for demonstrating that and uh, convincing me um, that that move is uh, worthy. And it definitely is. Uh, carpet Bomb Signature. I'm using Glide. Got one point into that. And Impaling Boost. So I'm also using the two passives. Uh, I've got Strength Over Sanity maxed out. I guess I could bring up the screen. And I just have a one point into the goblin formula. So I might change this build a little bit, tinker around with some stuff. Uh, I might end up taking remote control dive off. I don't really use it that much. So um, that's kind of the reason why I had the black cat uh, artifact on though, to buff up movement powers. So, cause I use an impaling boost a lot. You kind of spam impaling boost while, you, uh, while you're fighting. So, so anyway guys, let me call it, let me call Spidey back out here. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you probably didn't learn anything. You probably learned how to uh, squeak by a cosmic trial by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> and uh, I'm not proud of it, but uh, oh well, it is what it is. So uh, until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.